Hello all, my name is Sheikh Naeb. Uh, welcome back. So today we'll uh, see a little bit interesting, uh, which is Google Cloud. So we'll log into Google Cloud Console and then we'll try to create a compute instance. So which is virtual VM instance. So without wasting time, uh, I'll go to GCP console. I'll always forget to tell guys, so please subscribe to my channel. So I have very less subscribers from last one year uh, I'm making videos. So please, please, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, please encourage me to make more and more videos. So once you search GCP console, um, just click on the Google Cloud platform. So if you have already logged into one of the G Google account, right? It'll automatically logs logs in into the account. So now uh, first thing is we have to select the project. So I already selected a project called test one. So for the first time, um, we have to enable uh, the compute uh, API. So if you click on this three arrow marks at the left hand side, and then you will get the uh, navigation bar. So inside this navigation bar, we will have a compute section. In the compute, just click on the compute section and then it will take you to the VM um, machines, virtual machines. So once it uh, comes here, if you have already some virtual machines, it will list here. As of now, I don't have any virtual machines. So uh, what I'll do, I'll try to create a uh, virtual instance, VM instance, virtual machine instance. So here we need to give the instance name. Let me give the instance name as Google Compute VM Instance, GCVI1. So you can give any name actually. So I'm giving uh, this name. Um, it's up to your choice. And we have some fields like region and zone. So I'm keeping it as it is. I have not changed it. The right hand side, if you see, this is the cost it will incur if you use for a month, 28 plus $0.65. Uh, so then we have a machine configuration, the machine family. So there are two types of categories here, general purpose and memory optimized. So general purpose and memory optim optimizes the two uh, categories are there. So now uh, inside that E2 series we are in. So inside that E2 series we are having E2 medium, two CPUs and four GB RAM. So instead of, uh, I don't want to have this much of cost. So let me change instead of medium to micro, which will have two CPUs and one GB RAM. So this will cost us four times lesser, like it is having $8, uh, dollars, close to $8. So this is about uh, the uh, um, the family, general uh, machine family. And then if you come little down, uh, here, um, everything I'm keeping, keeping it as a defaults, enable display device, confidential VM service. And if you see here, it's very important thing. Uh, we have a disk size called uh, of 10 GB, which is uh, disk hard disk for this uh, VM. And the image for this uh, VM is Debian. We'll have Debian Linux. So Linux 10. So this is the, this is the um, Linux version we'll have. So I'm keeping it as it is. If you want to change, we can change it here. As of now, I'm keeping it as it is. And then uh, there is a firewall. So I'm clicking on allow HTTP traffic. So after creating a VM, what I will do is I'll just install Apache server. So by that, we'll be able to access that Apache server from outside. So pretty much done. So now here, there are advanced things like networking, disk security management, all those things, all those things, I am not going to change anything. I'm just creating a VM instance now. That's it, guys.
in 30 seconds we will be able to see our vm after that we will try to connect into that vm and install the apache server so be with me uh, we'll be back after 30 seconds or 40 seconds okay now see now it has been uh, our vm is ready so the status is green now what we can do is so here there is a connect option there is a ssh connect just click on this actually so automatically it will open the uh, server in the browser itself so this again it will take some time guys so maybe 30 seconds to 40 seconds so once it connects then we can we will be able to log into that uh, vm so it will allow us to log into the vm see uh, i am in the vm now um, so now what i will do is as of now my user is this one i will change my user so this command will be able to change the user sudo su so now if you see the user is root so after that what i will do is so apt update i will do so i am updating the uh, app and after that i'll install apt install apache 2 so here in the vm i am putting this command apt install apache 2 that's all guys so it will ask for to install or not so it it will take a minute again minute or 30 seconds after that it will install so just check that whether it has been installed or not using the curl command curl just give local host so anyway apache uh, server will run on 80 port so if it gives like this so it is working fine so now this is how we will be able to log into the vm which we have created uh, and install any softwares what we want and coming back to our uh, vm instances list here there are two ips internal ip and external ip so if you see the external ip so i just wanted to access the apache server from the external ip so this is the ip for that particular vm so here you just click click on that automatically so we will be load the apache debian default page so uh, we are able to install the apache server and using the external ip we are able to access that particular uh, apache server as well so that's it guys for this uh, video please subscribe to my channel please encourage me to do more and more videos please comment us if you need more information on this uh, particular topic thank you bye bye